Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you something I'm really excited about. A made customizable grid and guide template for Final Cut. I think you're going to find this really useful. I know this is something that's been lacking in FCPX for a long time. It's well overdue and they should have included it from the beginning. And I know there's some third party applications out there like Command Post and uh, there's a few others. This one I decided to make just because I think it's going to be very quick and easy to add to your uh, timeline. So I wanted something that was easy to use, you know, very user friendly, and hopefully you'll appreciate it as well. And I'll show you what it looks like now. All right, so here's the grid. As you can see, it's yellow. I chose yellow just because I thought that would be an easy color to see. Uh, if you're using black, it shows up very well, obviously. And if you're on white screen, you can still see it as well. And up here, I added a bunch of controls and you can tweak these as necessary. I just try to give you as much capability in FCPX itself so you don't have to be jumping back and forth to motion or different programs. So you got your position controls. I gave you a couple of anchor point controls, uh, some opacity controls, um, and also to turn on and off the grid. And of course you can just hit keyboard command shortcut V if you want to do that too. And that will toggle it off as well. There's a master scale option so you can make it bigger or smaller. It's set for default for 4K. I really should say it's not quite 4K, it's Ultra HD, but it works fine actually on a 1080 screen as well. So the master scale, you can make the squares bigger or smaller if you need to. And of course you can always just reset that. I gave you some flexibility there. The colors, you can change these. Also these opacity controls, I'll go over these. So I gave you a few different ones. Obviously the master one that brings it all down. If you want to make it a little less bright, if you're working on some graphics or text and you find it's getting in the way but you still want to use these guides, you can do that. These opacity ones I really like because for example, if you wanted to just kind of space out text or line up text, uh, you can do it that way. And yet again, also play with the scale if you need a little bit more room, so to speak. So that's kind of handy. And then the x-axis one as well, you know, if you wanted to line up something a bit differently. And then up here, your standard position tools. And then a couple of different anchor point controls. If you wanted to, for example, do this halfway and have the grid on and the lines on the other side, same thing with this anchor point. You can do it a bit differently if you need to, if you just need to bring it halfway down. So yeah, I just wanted to give you as much control as possible. And if you're looking to download this, I'll have a link to my online store in the description below. All right, I'm quickly gonna touch on installation for this template. It's very easy to install and you're gonna find it uh, under the generators tab in Final Cut Pro, and I'll show you where that's gonna be in the application. It's gonna end up being installed under your movies, motion templates, and then in the generators folder here. And that's where you're going to install it. So once you put in the generators folder, you're gonna see something like this, RCP guides and grids, and there it is there, all the files that you need to install. So you can create your own subfolder if you want, it's totally up to you. The file tree that I'll provide should be sufficient, but if you want to rename the folders, you can do that as well. And of course, this will end up being in your installed generators section under the generators tab. Once you go to titles, scroll down, go to generators, and that's where you'll find this new folder. And in that folder, you'll see this, and there it is. And then you just drag it over and pop it onto your timeline, or you could do a keyboard shortcut Q to pop it on top, or you can just drag it over. Up to you, but very simple and easy to install. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're looking to download this, I'll have a link to my online store in the description below. I'm gonna have it really reasonably priced because I wanna make sure it's accessible to as many people as possible. Please check it out. Also check out the rest of the items on my online store. Uh, there's not a lot there right now, but there will be more stuff coming soon. And I'm gonna have some more editing templates, uh, more stock footage, more, more sound effects. I'm also gonna have some original uh, royalty-free music coming soon. So stay tuned for that. 
And don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm gonna have more stuff coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching.